All right, guys, how's it going? So first of all, Paul Hoolihan, I want to thank you for tipping me off that the link wasn't working in the video description for the newsletter. If you've tried to subscribe to the newsletter, guys, which is free, obviously, please uh, check the video description on this video and future videos, and you should now be able to uh, to subscribe. Actually, any, any of the videos, it will work now. Um, so thanks for that, uh, Paul. I do appreciate that, but I had no idea. That kind of explains why no one's been uh, subscribing to it. Um, Kunapa Yahoo, Kunapa Yahoo, Kunapa Kunap Yahoo. I think that's the username. Sorry, brother. Uh, and uh, and others uh, overnight this morning uh, tipped me off uh, about some comments from um, Ornstein, from David Ornstein, uh, in relation to Roberto De Zerbi. Uh, and we're going to touch on those in this video, uh, you know, as to what he's actually said. Uh, now, for those of you that are newcomers to the channel, we only pay attention to two journalists, to be honest with you, concerning Liverpool Football Club. David Ornstein and Born Again Joyce, Paul Joyce at the Times. Uh, I won't go into the you know the connections and whatnot because we seem to talk about it all the time. Just trust me on that. They're the only two that you need to pay attention to. We obviously always listen to Fabrizio Romano as well. Mo Salah! If you don't know why I shout that when I say Fabrizio Romano, uh, watch this morning's morning briefing and that will explain why. Um, so we always listen to Ornstein. We always listen to Joyce. Um, uh, yes, of course, we're going to listen to Romano with certain things. Uh, Balaguer maybe with the Spanish connection, you know, like we did with Alonso and that. Uh, but the rest of them, I, I, they're kind of what I put in in the Liverpool clique where they all agree with each other and they're just basically feeding off uh, the likes of Ornstein and Joyce and whatnot. But I'm sure they're very nice people and all that. And maybe at one time, maybe years ago, uh, when there was, you know, that when the print media was actually still pretty okay, uh, maybe they were uh, okay at the time, but today they're not. But I will leave that up to you. You make your own decisions, um, et cetera, et cetera. So Ornstein, what has he said? Now we're all wondering, you know, what's going on with the latest managerial, you know, situation at the club? As Rafa would say, he <laughs> for sure. Uh, for me, as of today's day, at the time of recording, Ruben Amarim uh, has to be the obvious choice. There are so many different reasons uh, why, I, why I have a strong opinion about this. Now, previously, many of us, me included, thought it was going to be Alonso, right? We were like, well, it, you know, it looks like it's going to be Alonso. But we always had that little like, but we'll have to wait and see what happens with Bayer Leverkusen. That was always stressed. We knew there was going to be a sit down with them. And also, there was, you know, it was always between, in my opinion, for a long time, Alonso and Amarin, two two different candidates, potential, right? Now, with Amarin, in my opinion, I don't think there's anyone to rival him. I really don't. And if we start to be linked with, say, Nagelsmann, if that was to read, I mean, we, I know we've been linked with Nagelsmann, but I mean, if it really gained ground, uh, you know, and, and certain journalists, you know, start... But uh, bigging him up, for example, it would suggest to me that maybe the Amarim situation isn't going as planned. Reports in Portugal, you know, saying with people close to him saying he'd find it hard to resist Liverpool. Uh, the born again Joyce at the Times, you know, who's been born again since Edwards returned, not to the club. You know, if, if I say club, please don't be pedantic and say he's not being employed by the club. It's FSG. I, I know this. But it's, sometimes I just say, you know, since he's returned to the club, since he's returned to the, the operation, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, Joyce, since Edwards has come back, has been like this, right? And he's putting out these favourable articles about Amarim, nobody else, right? Now, Ornstein is also chiming in, and it's important to see what them two fellas have got to say. And if you haven't seen the latest, this is what he said. Now... I think I made a video over the weekend. I can't remember what it was. We made so many videos talking about Ornstein. He'd, he'd said something on US television in an interview saying it doesn't sound like De Zerbio. So I can't remember what it said. And I hate, you know, guessing what I said. But the video will be there. It was it was probably Friday, Saturday, something like that. Um, but it was the first time that I'd seen him or Born Again Joyce suggest that maybe De Zerbi wasn't being really considered at all now, right? If he ever was. We know Richard Hughes is a fan of his, but it doesn't mean that, 
you know, he might have tried to appoint him as a manager at Bournemouth, but it doesn't mean that he would think that he would be the right fit for Liverpool. You know, some people are like, oh, is it, why, why would we want him? You know, which is, but that could explain why he's been in the running uh, to Zerbe, right? Because he is, um, you know, Richard Hughes likes him and maybe somebody heard something. Right now, I only see him. I'll be honest with you, I don't see anyone challenging him. If we start to be linked with others, that means something's gone fucking wrong in my opinion. When I say linked, I mean a lot of chatter. Anyway, so Ornstein said at the weekend, or he gave the first indication, I felt that De Zerbi really wasn't uh, being considered at all. Uh, I think I put um, a front one of the back pages, sorry, into uh, our Telegram, Telegram uh, chat last night. We, if, if you've got a mobile device or a, a desktop, just go to t.me forward slash cop talk chat. It's in the video description. Uh, and you can join our chat room. And I put in the headlines, uh, the back pages on a night time, if I think they're of interest. He's being linked quite heavily with uh, with Bayern Munich at the moment. So we had the first indication that De Zerbi was maybe actually not under consideration over the weekend from Ornstein. And he's chimed in further now. And he has been, he has said, sorry, my information is that it's incredibly unlikely that they would go for De Zerbi. I'm being told that that's not going to happen. This is very strong, uh, decla you know, declarations, if you like. Very, he's, he's really like, you know, he's not putting a disclaimer in there, you know, like you see some of these fuckers do. Uh, he's basically saying incredibly unlikely, not unlikely, guys. The incredibly makes it so much more stronger, honestly. So he, he's really emphatic with that. He really believes that, right? Never say never in football. We know that. We don't, you know, cosh him to death on the internet, caps lock him to death on Twitter and all that if De Zerbe is appointed. Because right now, that's what he's being told. That's not going to happen, right? So those of you that don't favour De Zerbe, I think you can calm down now. Now, with Amarim, he added, Amarim is definitely in the mix. I think we all know this. You know what I mean? Uh, his body of work at Sporting Lisbon is really impressive. I think a member of his backroom staff on strength and conditioning used to work at Liverpool, which we've, we we do know that. And he's said to be really important to Amarin at Sporting. I think some conversations have taken place. I think, you know, a couple of months ago, uh, we, uh, you know, I, I did something on here. I can't remember what it was. Uh, I think it might have been Fabrizio Nositolio, right? And that isn't me taking a piss out of Romano. We actually have... Uh, our own ITK on your resident ITK look back you look for the thumbnails of a very dapper chap stood there at the AXA you'll see uh, and he said right and I trust Fabrizio knows it all you right he said that Liverpool Football Club officials had been in Madrid if you remember do you remember do you remember to meet with Amarim's representative or representatives uh, representative you know what I mean plural of representative I can't I don't know sorry Fabrizio knows it all, you know. He, you know, when he was talking to me, he, he was unable to confirm how many people were at this meeting, all right? And that's some time ago now. Now, we know Amarin wants to focus on sporting. They've got a massive game tonight. Go back on one of my videos today. I'm talking about the game tonight. Um, and they've got a massive game on Saturday. Now, tonight's the second leg of a semi-final in the Cup against Benfica. Saturday, Benfica again, Yeah. In in the, uh, the 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 Premier League, one point difference between them at the top of the league. Massive game on Saturday. We want to see how Marim does in these games, right? You know what I'm saying? So he he wants to focus on that. So he's just trotting out that I'm very happy where I am. Thanks, you know, and, all that. and he's a professional, right? But when he says I'm very happy where I am, he's basically going like this: I'm very happy where I am. Thanks. Look, he's he's too happy. He's like, mm, I'm really really happy where I am because I don't know where I'm fucking going next. Do you know what I mean? So I think, I think everything is pointing at Amarim right now. Uh, and I put my money where my mouth was back in January. I backed him to be the next manager of Liverpool back in January. So uh, obviously I wanted Alonso. I thought it might be Alonso. Uh, I'm getting a message right now. You, he, venido a casa, a comer. I have gone to my house to eat. Huh, there we go. See, my Spanish is fucking amazing. Right. Um... What was the reason for the video? The reason for the video was to tell you that Ornstein has more or less said, the Zerbi ain't happening. At the weekend, alluded. You know, it doesn't sound like it's going to happen. Now, I've been told it won't happen. Yeah? I want to be very specific. Let me just read what he said. 
you know i'm like I've, you know this is where people get things confused i like to be very specific my information is that it's incredibly unlikely right it's incredibly unlikely don't say it's never gonna happen in a million years just says it's incredibly unlikely emphasis on incredibly I'm being told that's not going to happen. So I think that's an important update for you guys. I really do. All right. So we're going to be live on here this afternoon at three o'clock UK time. Please join me. Now, if you've tried to join the newsletter, please now go in the video description uh, and, and pop your email in and join. I haven't sent an update out for a while, but it is my intention to do so. It's just this thing called time. Uh, and it's been a bit, you know, exit with the, the managerial stuff. Um, but I would, I really do want to get into the habit of uh, of getting some emails out to you. Listen, if you appreciate the video, doesn't mean that you agree with it or, or endorse it. Just thumbs up, please. Uh, please leave me a comment. They're exceptionally important to me. They get me through my day. Uh, if you want to buy me a coffee or a beer, whatever way you want to look at it, you can hit that super thanks button. Uh, that would be appreciated. Please read the video description, sign up to the newsletter. If you want to make my life, you know, really happy, become a Cop Talk VIP member and join us on here. Uh, where we all live, really. It's fucking good on there. I like it. Well, I'm going to say that, Anna. Um, and yeah, that'd be it. Yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to say to you. Three o'clock on here then this afternoon, guys. Yeah, Please do uh, make sure that your uh, name is in that list of people that have used the super thanks and that. If it isn't, let me know. I might have a couple to add today. But, you know, that, that list there goes in every video throughout 2024 of the people that have been kind enough to do that for me. And... When you do that, I always give you a shout out in the morning briefings, which hopefully will be tomorrow morning. All right, then. Uh, what am I going to do now? Uh, upload this video. Get ready for uh, the live stream a little bit later. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and uh, please do leave me a comment. All right, guys. See you in a bit.